Gee, I didn't know that's what you had to do. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, uh, but I would graduate beyond that. The what? So, Jesus being the spiritual dimension, being the reality, okay? There's like this force, you know, and the closer you are to Christ, the more this force uh, influences you. And then slowly, and this is what's so great about it, slowly, the what, Jesus, strips you of any and all expectations for this earth. So that, that man over there in that wheelchair is just as valid as that guy running that 100 yard dash or 100 meter or whatever in the Olympics. This is that madman uh, politician guy. I don't know. Let's talk about Justin Bieber and giving him a nub job and all this. This guy's crazy. He's funny. And I have some experience in this now, which I never had before. I never even really considered uh, I just go through my I'll tell you a little bit about my own process. I never really considered uh, anything about the handicap. I just I just wish they would speed up, you know. Yeah, can somebody tell me who the heck is this guy? I've been trying to figure out for years and years and years. Like it, he swears and uh, he just just mentioned about Justin Bieber giving a, a nub job and all this before I even clicked the camera on. Like no, this guy's <laughs> to know who this guy I is. That, uh, in this world, you know, uh, somebody in a wheelchair is really completely invisible. You know what I mean? Unless we're famous like Governor Hammond of Texas. They're really invisible. And, um, but they're supposed to be unhappy. And the, the rich man in the mansion living, uh, up in the third grade mile of engine, Homey Hills. Or a $50 million dollar, um, water side of the state, Miami or something. He's supposed to be uh, the happiest in the world. But because no matter what they did with the stone in the corner, no matter what they think about Jesus, to deny the space between the cells, Please. To deny the space between the lights, between the stars, would be to deny Jesus. It's the entire reality is a force. And so what that force does, besides influencing all the events that happen to you, because the force is there before you were born, it goes ahead of you. And it, you know, you, we get challenges. But you'll notice that uh, usually with these challenges, uh, even though they're horrific and painful, there's some kind of uh, <clears throat> peace that comes with the acknowledgement that this is not home. It is a created thing. It is to be occupied by us. But along about the time the covenant changed to Jesus, you know what I mean? We had Old Testament, New Testament. So about that time of the New Testament, you know, Jesus, you know, we had a physical Jesus, which is very unusual. The physical one. Like God in the flesh on earth. And he's mainly saying, you know, divest in this world. Don't worry about what you'll eat and what you'll wear. Don't worry about, um, you know, the, uh, 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 what they say about you. Don't worry about being persecuted. Because if you're with Jesus, you are not participating in 
the game of Earth, which is basically satanic and based on, you know, the Justin Bieber school of selling out or whatever. The selling out is not just about acts of sex or doing favors for people or even murder. The selling out is about suffering your soul from God. And for that, there is a reward in temporal uh, wealth or temporal um, uh, uh, whatever, t uh, temporal connection to the earth. But the earth is dying every day. Oh no, it doesn't matter about when the earth ends. It means it's dying. People are dying every day. People are in sorrow every day. People are killing each other every day. Violence has gotten completely out of control, and uh, you know now they're now now you know, the Biden administration is backtracking on uh, Israel, telling it to you know demanding a ceasefire, trying to make Israel the bad guy before the election. That Biden was right on, you know, just a, a mess, a mess, a mess. Everywhere you look, a mess. And it's all created by the people who worship the earth. Who, which means, hold on, does mean bowing down before a globe and an altar somewhere. It means participation in the game, which is the hot mind game, which is where your, your game stock it comes from for people that don't uh, participate. And I suppose persecution comes to whistleblowers, to, to people that have been in the system, but you see, they, they have to go through punishment. They don't get rewarded because they're just on the beginning of their journey. You see, they're, they're just beginning to rock with God. They're just beginning to understand. Some people have a long prison sentence, and in that long prison sentence, they discover the truth. And the truth sets you free in this way. Because I've, I've lived it, so I've... I, I, the, the, the key is to put it into words that can, we can all understand. So, the force of Jesus separates me from the game, from the world system, from everything. From people's comments about whatever I've created to, uh, you know, to, you know, the, 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 the specter of nuclear war to all of it. I have nothing to do with any of it. It is not my... The reason I don't is because it's not because I have I, I use my will. It's because there's a force stronger than me. It flips the reality, you know, in, in terms of that flips my reality to a different a different frequency, if you will, which is Christ, which is the main body, the main message from which of the what is that you are not part of this world. Now, to be in it and not of it. You've heard these statements. These are these are all you don't get this from any other religion. This is not even a religion. This is it's a reality. The force of the entire universe is Christ. The force of all things where there is force is Christ. The force of all creation is Christ. The people that would go backwards will go backwards because they're offered some trinkets or some prestige or fame or, you know, the mansions or the boat or whatever it is they want. But along with that comes total misery. Have you noticed that, again, that one of the biggest complainers that I've seen are guys like Bill Gates, Larry Fink, you know, the rich richest of the world, the rich, evil people of the world. And they complain endlessly. Because it's not enough for them to have mansions, power, you know, fuck you money, or whatever. It, they, they, they then turn, this is in their nature, because of complanatory existence, complanatory consciousness, they turn to 
someone they can hurt because they become a psychopath. Why? Those that so to the world become the psychopaths, become the people hunting other people to put them in misery. And that becomes the game. The, the, the real game is the hunt. And then, of course, there's the abuser. So if you take this Sean Combs guy, it's a good, good, good example of an abuser. But any of them could be. You know, they, they get some power, they become an abuser. It's, the force brings them to be an abuser. And they abuse people by making them compromise their soul. In other words, making them guilty and ashamed for what they've done for their fame. And they hope no one finds out about it because they would like to think or at least believe for a little while they want you to believe they earned it. They earned their fame. They earned their fortune. They earned their position. And they did not. None of the people that I just mentioned earned anything. You take a guy like Gates, the whole thing was teed up for him for, before he even was born. It was all rigged. It was all basically scripted. In fact, a lot of things that happen in the future come to us from ahead in time. And then they're thrown in our face. But again, to make the world afraid, to make the world miserable, to, to prey upon humans in the world, to call them worthless, to call them shit, to destroy the family, create famine, create war, dismember them from their work, family, and even in their own bodies. Yeah, and then we nice swear on this thing. With the expectation <laughs> that you're going to hear a lot of wailing and moaning from your handiwork and hurting the people. This is the absence of God. What a shit. This is the, the thing about this world that makes it very peculiar. It's very specifically designed to do just what it's doing now. In other words, the world's acting completely normal. It was like this 50 years ago. You know, so it's, it's nothing new. It's been like this from the beginning. The, the whole point of which is to, uh, is, is to help people. And now through force, right? Through, through starvation, disease, bankruptcy, um, and any other social control they can think of that would do great harm. And so, so these people become so psychotic, they, they would love to be in a flat, say up in Manhattan or up in San Francisco, and look down on all the feces and shit, people and needles and degradation, mm, and then get off on it, just enjoy the privilege of being so rich of being so above it all <laughs> and causing it all and enjoying the power of having caused the chaos and the tears and the broken hearts relishing well that's fine that's fine that's what they were supposed to do so well you know that's why God sorry is guys people think God wouldn't put us here in a world like this where we beg God for help and we do, we get killed. Would he? This guy's crazy. <laughs> and then you realize the whole point of it all. He tells it like What's it is. What's the point of your existence? What's the point of my existence? Right, but what's the point of finding God? Finding truth. God is just another word for truth. So what's the point? Find the truth. The world's not meant for ongoing habitation. It comes to ruin every generation. So since that doesn't work, since the mansion people don't work, since the cruelty doesn't work, since the game doesn't work, 
Anyone that plays the game is, by definition, a loser, an idiot, a fool. And that's just how I, you know, I mean, that gets me in trouble when I treat them that way. But I have, I, I'm sorry, I don't respect uh, uh, you people that play the game. I don't, ex I, I don't respect it because I, I, I find it to be, um, it's just really pretty much intellectually bankrupt. I find it to be uh, detestable, really, people that want, you know, yeah, this is the crazy man, the game, crazy the man, of it politician. In order to get, to alleviate your tears and your problems and your being lost and being upset, and being all alone and having a long road to walk and no help. So you turn to the game, only to learn after a while, after maybe a few years, that the whole point of it is to harm other people. That's the crux. That's the, the essence of the game is to harm others, to harm humans, your fellow human. When families get power, the woman usually takes over. And what's the first thing she does, the wife, besides her social clubs and all the prestigious uh, charities and all the things that uh, the rich ladies do. She turns completely psycho and tries to ruin the children. <laughs> and then yeah. uses that to blame others how she's been a good mother and they and you know and everybody else is, is harmful as if she can blame her failures in life on them you know and it happens over and over and then the good son the good daughter uh follows the rules of the game or at an early age goes to the right prep school the right you know, the right clubs, the right camping, the right associations, the right cotillion, the right, uh, you know, parties, the right everything. And does everything is mapped out, usually by the mother, to boost them into the next generation that will then take over from all the hard work they've done. <laughs> get into Harvard or get into any of these schools, it's the same principle. They're not getting in there unless, uh, you know, they, they try to do this sort of, um, well, they all have to be associated. If, if, if there's any, there, there can't be anyone in the group calling truth. Because that would ruin the, the game, but the game is, it's not really a game. What it is, it's a, uh, an entropic force, entropy meaning uh, to wear down as, you know, in time we wear down as people, everything wears down and then dies and then another one is born, right? So while you're here alive, the point is uh, that it doesn't, it's not worth it if there's no peace. You see, there is a point to your life, and that is that when you really surrender to the truth, you know, which, you know, which is Christ, the truth, you know, conformed before the world was founded, standing before the foundation of the world. When you finally recognize the truth and abide in it, you are what? Set free, but what does that mean? That means from feeling bad. That, that, that's that's kind of the first example of oh, the guy hell, in the talking about. having the joy yeah. and the guy in the mansion with all the perks the world has to offer, screaming, yelling, and complaining, and, and complaining, and then turning on his fellow man because he just can't think of anything else to do to give himself pleasure. Huh. Blessed be the man that is already at peace sees the whole thing for what it is and is grateful for having been moved 
to the uh, uh, having flipped the world. So that that force that causes people to play the game. You play the game because you psych out. You play the game because you don't think that God will help you. Playing the game is an actual, it's a Judas move. It's a it's a backstab in the, in the back of God. It is absolutely uh, the enemy of God Almighty. And well, I didn't have any choice. I had to. How many times have I heard this? Rather than, why don't you just, if you want to talk to me about it, let's just pray together. But no, you have to make a, you want to justify how bad your life was, and then finally you found a life raft. Only the life raft wasn't Christ. And all I can tell you is that will lead to... What the hell is he talking about? Tremendous. Well, I'll just say this. You know that bad feeling you get when you do something wrong? You know when you have to live with that shame and you need to do something to redeem yourself but you can't think of anything and you're just kind of living, you're going to eat it. And let's say that piles up incident after incident your whole life. Well, you'll be a screaming nut job by the time you get all your mansions and all your boats and all your airplanes. It's going to be the guy that cleans the plane. It's going to be the, the pilot. It's going to be the... Uh, you know, the people managing your businesses. It's going to be just, you know, all hell will just be raining down all the time because of feel, but what's, what's causing it? it? Feeling guilt, shame, terrible, feeling illegitimate, not being satisfied, feeling completely lost, as they all do. Then, of course, they're, you know, like I said, the women of the household turn mean, usually. A great example would be Jill Biden. She looks like one of the meanest people I think you're ever going to see. If you, uh, if, if, if you uh, don't want to play Satan's game, I think that she'd, uh, I mean, she has her own son, you know, in public, you know, playing the game in public, you know what I mean, unashamed. And when a person's conscience is seared, you know, they can be unashamed for a while, but not forever. At some point, there's a day of reckoning. Okay, so I can just tell you through my own, like, you know, debacle in the hospital and this and that, I've had a lot of time to think about these things and continue to think about them, you know. Turns out I was right all along, which is nice, right? That gives me a good feeling that I haven't been on some wild goose chase. <laughs> this guy. And I'm left with a feeling of there's pain in illness. There's pain in uh, old age. There's pain in infirmity and things like that. Mm. But you know what's really nice? It's really nice to know that, that even though people try to blame you for stuff you didn't do, it's good to know in your heart who you are, but that you're totally with this force of Christ this world flipping thing. Because when Jesus flips the world for me, I mean, I know all this stuff's going on. It's all bad and horrible and whatnot. But I have this peace and this joy that is like a child. And I mean, what's that worth? What would these people pay to have that? You know what I mean? To be like an innocent child. Innocent once again. Except you're not innocent, you're wise. Because the only way you can get there is to be wise enough to, dis to discern what's happening. Every cell, every space, every created object, everything that exists has this Christ force energy. This is, is Jesus, uh, is, is Christ. I mean, it's a, let, let me put it another way. It's all going to belong to the same person that created it. And I believe this world was created. I think one of the keys to the entire um, understanding of existence here is the book of Job. I think we never get tired of that. Why do you keep forgiving them? 
Why do you keep on praying when God has left you in this situation and, 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 and destroyed you? Well, well, why do you keep the faith? Oh, they got a lot and the of answer is, God chose me for that because I'm strong. And I'm, 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 I don't have the worst of it. Crazy politicians like slash Brandon, whatever the heck these guys are. I tell you, they're freaking weird, getting weirder and weirder. You know, about the joy and suffering. There's a tremendous joy in relishing in the victory of Christ. Which is really your victory. Because you figured out the truth. They've done everything they could to make it so you can't figure it out. And in every situation, every interview, every social interaction, every um, uh, school, every institution, every single aspect of life on earth, is filled with 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 people that have become part of the dying hierarchy the hive mind which seeks to when they come at you they don't need to coordinate they they're all in a hive they have to listen they listen to, they get cute it's almost like they have chips in their head they all become this hive and so it's easy to see when you see that going on you go okay and you go right to the Lord, right? For protection and for guidance as to what to do. And then you can relish in that and just say, so Lord, you're just always there for me. Thank you, Lord. Or you might be in a situation where you don't know what the Lord wants you to do. You don't know how to be in his will. He's in his Lord, please don't be to be in your will. I'm never going to be. my circumstance might be different, I guess, in some lot of ways. Prevented that because people were, I guess, they're afraid of, you know, they, they, you know, I saw the way they acted when I was in the hospital. They, they acted the way, I mean, how they act toward each other. It was weird, right? It was a battle. Because uh, well. There's, you know, there's, there you are. You're very vulnerable. You're on a bed, and you know anyone can see your position, and they're all, all 100 percent on the other side. Except every once in a while, there's, there's like I got a buddy down in the uh, OR area who is a listener, and he's cool. He's kind of like, seems real like a really happy person, but he's contending with the. Uh, with the onslaught of being the one guy where there's, and there's probably more than that, but there's being the one guy against all the rest of them. But you have to realize, we're not against them. This doesn't make any sense. We point out what they do. This does not they make say, any sense. You know, it's going around and around in they, circles. They, they wouldn't even come to, to you to ask you to join anything. You're just too, you, you just won't fit in it. And, um, you know, they, when, when, when they, uh, if they want relief from their guilt, their shame. I remember my mother used to, you know, a complete total psychopath. <laughs> Absolutely evil. You know, except for one little sliver of her that was like mine every once in a while. But I mean, she was like, totally was into, you know, into doing harm to others, you know, to, to get a, 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 a benefit, a pop. And, you know, an extraordinary, uh, a perfect example of the socialite, sort of Joan Crawford-esque kind of moment. In fact, she had often said Joan Crawford was her role model. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a big question about it. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, it's amazing um, that she felt that like my brother and I ruined her life because we wouldn't because we were too different I don't know how we got to it he was autistic and but 
they were on to bury that fact and try to make him act normal. And then they did the same thing with me, and finally they threw us both into loony pets. Both, 100% of the children, <laughs> are away at camp. You know what I mean? To force us to see the light. Can you imagine? John the Baptist, another socially high end family, John the Baptist family. Father is a, a, you know, a priest, a, a priest of uh, you know, head of a church. Mother had to have been a, some kind of socialite, you know, in Jerusalem. And then they had John the Baptist as a child. Can you imagine? Can you imagine it? Now, they knew they couldn't change him, and they had a visit from the angel Gabriel that Gabriel said that, you know, we want this child preserved. And, of course, his time did come when Salome demanded his head on a platter. You remember that. But he was to be left alone. So they had all these stories about him living in the wilderness and eating, you know, bugs and uh, or whatever it was. You know, <laughs> eating, eating bugs. Berries and, you know. Oh, my God. Wearing a, uh, a tunic made of, you know, of, of, of bear hair and all that. But all that was meant to symbolize, in my, my view, because I'm a writer, I understand when they're using metaphors. All of that was to symbolize that what we already know about separation and the flipping of worlds, which is Christ. Jesus does not approve of this world. Period. At all. He didn't start the fight. And, and when, if you see Christians form armies and go fight, you know, that's not really, they, they want to conquer Islam or conquer this or that. That's not, that's, that's completely off the wall. Off the wall. It's not about that. It's about you. It's about your soul. It's about truth. It's about becoming the tabernacle of the Most High God. It's about this, this, you know, this sort of evolution beyond death and into um, the higher levels of um, truth, which we can't see from here, but we understand they exist. But Jesus, if you align with Jesus, you will not fit in the world. Well, some people, you know, God picked out from the beginning and there just was no aligning from day one when they were babies. They were not going to align with it. It's just not going to happen. It's a special child. They're just different. So the world, so here's how the abuser works. The world won't accept them. Sometimes they try to recruit them into... Uh, you know, they're, 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 they're idiot savants or they're, they're, they're geniuses at something or other, you know, to, to, to take some of the pressure off of their being different. But usually, what he's it, trying to say? you know, the, the, the parents know there will be no conformity here. So they seek to kill, usually, the firstborn and hope that that has an influence on the secondborn to, you know, contribute to this world. But contributing to this world is kind of like, you know, you, you, you know pissing on a landfill. <laughs> you, you're not contributing anything. What do you think? And his ESG and all that. I just want to piss on a everything landfill. Everything you do with the money, the monopoly of money, is designed to kill people. Period. I mean, we know this, right? We know this. In my case, instead of my being dead, my brother was dead at 33. Interesting number. At the hands of a witch, which he was beguiled into being with. She took advantage and slowly poisoned him to death. And I think my, the irony of ironies is my own mother suing for wrongful death and winning. Where the criminal suit, the criminal, uh, charges never, you know, they never pursued it. The wrongful death is pretty strong. So they, so they put, so that's my evidence there. So they poisoned him. Went to the funeral. 
of Rubrik. And uh, it was somewhere in North San Diego County. I, I just don't remember where it was. Some, some, some place where you could dump the body on. A little chapel thing. Right, and my well, mother was looking like she was crying. I was standing right next to her. Now we're talking about death now? Got back in the car, the limo, or whatever it was, the car. And she wipes her eyes. She, she looks at me, smiles, she goes, How did I do? That's called his eyes hard as nails. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get. You know that's it's just it's just unbelievable. She was so happy to put him in the ground because she blamed him for ruining her life. That she could have had a bigger mansion or a bigger this or that or more Chanel coats or whatever it was. If 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 he had just been, you know. Semi-cooperative, but he was so different that people, the kids, were scared of him down at the beach club and other places. So he was blamed. And um, yeah, I mean, it was so bad that actually he, he is a very gentle guy. There was nothing really wrong with him, but he was just different. Now I have another friend who was. Uh, also autistic, and he was a teacher. No, no names here, but I mean, I was very heartbroken when I, you know, of course temporarily, when I heard that uh, the kids at the high school is actually teaching here in New Mexico, and the kids, the parents all ganged up on him to get him fired because they were afraid of him. <laughs> they, they. He didn't fit in with like regular teams. Yeah, he was probably so playing piggy. They developed with... all kinds of rumors about him which weren't true. And they, and they like first put him out. Then he had to go home. That just breaks your heart. Yeah, a kid that wouldn't hurt a fly. And no, no sexual predator or anything like that. But these kids and these parents, see, he wasn't one of them, right? Yeah, right. So he's evil. Piggy man. So now, when you look at that situation of the school year and how they evilly ganged up and made up stories, made up things about him, and he's your friend. And now I'm telling you that there's nothing wrong with him. But the fate of these people in this school is cursed. And every one of them. You know, Jeff Bezos is cursed. Zuckerberg is cursed. You can, you can see it. You can see they look like a deer in the headlights, spiritually. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and they're, you know, pretty much, I mean, you can, if the love of money is definitely blocked them from being able to see the truth. So they want to outlaw it. It's not that this world will ever win. The world was set up exactly the way it is for the purpose which it's serving, which is perfect. It's the vetting of souls. And the reward for people that see the truth to aid in their persecution is they get you're not just glimpses of heaven, of God, of truth, but, uh, but they're washed clean inside as they were when they were born. And if they backtrack or they, you know, they have fun, they fall into sin or whatever, of course, that's going to be convicted by the Holy Spirit. But, you know, the whole point is the force is going to keep them on track on moving out of this not moving into the world not having offspring to, to, to set up a dynasty <laughs> but to move on to move out to be you know the, the, the pillars of all creation 
This guy must be high on freaking pot and pot of drugs or something. I don't even understand what the hell is he going at this. Of God's work, which is why he made people in the image and likeness. To be not just satisfied, but giddy in love, thrilled, satisfied, excited. All of those feelings you had when you were a kid when you were going to go to Disneyland for the first time or whatever it was. You know, eventually all that got disappointed. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the deal. And and you know, the, you see, the thing that people don't understand is they say it's just a free will choice. Everybody's the same. Everyone has the same chance to play the game, to sell out. Wrong. Everybody does not have the same chance. God has preserved his own. We might just call them the meek. And of course, the joke is on the rich people. When I say rich, I mean people that love money more than life. Who love power more than life. The politicians. The hedge fund managers, the, uh, the big uh, entrepreneurs, the, uh, the people that just live in money day in and day out. The uh, cocktail parties. The, uh, you know, the social game that goes on at these parties. The, the hierarchies that are developed at these parties. The situation as it develops. Yeah, it's going in circles. I, I'm with, getting uh, a headache. What the hell are you talking about? What do you have to do for fame and fortune? A little glimpse of Bieber there. Did you think it was something else? Did you think he, he earned it? This is, a, this is a boy who's, you know, a young man who's completely lost. But there's, in that being lost right now in this world, there is a great chance for him to uh, get it right. See, that's the other thing we don't think of. We don't, you know, let them crash and burn. Serves them right. Well, they didn't know any better because that's all they've ever known. These people that have these ball-breaking mothers who sell their children in, in, to, to, to producers and entertain, you know, make them entertainers, you know, basically they're selling them into slavery at five and six years old because they have some kind of talent. And they're taught to go out. If you don't have money to offer, if you don't have something else to offer, well, you've got skin. And they want uh, those those things rubbed on them. Sorry to put it that way. They want to be serviced. Is it their God? Is it their the final word? Is it their the authority? And the way God sees them is they are less than the poor. Less authoritative, less qualified for authority than the poor. Less qualified for success than the, 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 the degraded, the derelicts. The derelicts. <laughs> and so after a while, with this force of Christ, which affects all things and all consciousness, you know, and eventually start saying things that are kind of wise because they echo what Jesus taught, but they echo the real sentiment of God toward this world. You know, no, it's not the world of Genesis. I hate to deal with people, different with people, but you know, and God created man and woman saw that it was good. And, animals and dominion and all that. No, 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 there's something else. The creation wasn't done in chapter one of Genesis. It continued to be developed. Satan didn't just, you know, the dragon, the serpent. Now we're going back to religion, religion now. What the hell is this guy? He's, he's all over the place. Over. See the book of Job for confirmation and proof of that.
There can only be one conclusion. And, and you know, in the end, there are people that die tragically, that unlucky things happen to them. And it shouldn't have happened according to when your logic. But we don't know what God was doing in the love of, with respect to that person that had such unlucky times. We don't know what was being worked out. But what's being worked out is we have to give up everything to be acceptable before the Lord. Right? Because there's no room for other gods. People get in trouble when they go to other gods. You know, mm -hmm. money, celebrities, rock bands, teams, apps, etc., etc. Shiny objects, okay? No, Jesus will beat that right out of you to where there is no desire for any of that because desire is what kills the whole world. Mm. Why are the desires? So anyone truly walking with Christ will be, even if they don't think they're doing anything for the Lord, they will remain separate in the sense that the others around can see you. I see you, they said to me. They can see me. They can see. I don't have to go do anything or talk back to anyone or quote any scriptures or do anything. For them to see who I am. Which is not one of them. Hallelujah. Huh. Because the end game of them, where they are headed, is complete total destruction. As if they never were. As if none of this ever happened. Now, there is no party in hell. These different worlds flip around and you can wind up in a, in a world. Earth, Earth is completely malleable, right? So you can wind up here in a world where you're surrounded with uh, you know, all, all kinds of things can change. So that's my, you know, my talk about today. It's, you know, please leave room for God to, to change you and, and stop pressuring yourself to do it all. Oh, he goes from politics, he goes to God, and then what? I, I don't follow. You've already, just by being, you could just stand there and do nothing the rest of your life, and you know, and you'd be making a huge contribution to truth, to love, to peace within. You can't have peace within being connected to all these people that are trying to kill each other. There's just no, the, right? There's, there's no peace. Um, so they use money as a way to have a temporary you know, peace. And I admit, money can do some great things for, for the people of God, the people that need, the people that need help. A lot of people need help. It seems like the richest among us don't tend to be into that. What the hell is the damn stupid it's rich people got to do anything? Who gives a shit? You know, man. You know, maybe not. Look. Look at the ocean. Look how much space there is. Yeah, a lot look of how many fish there are. Enough to feed everybody a million times over for generations. And a priest says to me, I like jellyfish. No man still has to make a living. Jellyfish and and, and onion. Words, oh yeah, to jellyfish. Copper guild or something. I live on that. To be able to go out there and fish, you can't just right. go out there. There's a regulation. You have to report it. You gotta write everything. Why? Why do you think everything is regulated here? Because it's all regulated against Christ, against Jesus. That's the whole point to keep that out. That this is their world. And God never said it was their world. If they, the way they're acting, is exactly what God wants them to act right. Because they're vetting God's people. There is no 
people of God without suffering. Suffering is a very, you know, big component of it, and a lot of people don't want to suffer. But, but folks, everybody's suffering, and they are suffering. Suffering knowing at the end of your life at 70 plus years, maybe that's it. Versus the person that's uh, going home with the Lord who's all excited. No, we must. The only real redemption of our lives is to regain that childhood innocence, that uh, that spark of life. And that is exactly what God is doing. It's called restoration. Restore you to what? When you were 20? No, how about restore you to the... To the, to the time of creation. To the happy child that doesn't know anything's going on. To the, um, but yet has the wisdom of the ages. Because everybody gets the wisdom of the ages. Because the wisdom of the ages is, is designed to keep you from getting sucked into a maelstrom that goes nowhere. Eventually, people will get it. They'll see the golf clubs and the polo shirts, and they get sick to their stomachs. But it may, may take a while for them to understand. And God's got nothing but time. You know, He's got nothing but time. He's got nothing but time. You know, and and all the people that think the eclipse. Uh, the New Agers are all calling it the real Great Reset. So they're, they're jitting it all up again, folks. And my attitude is, wah, wah, wah. I don't care about the eclipse. It's interesting, but I don't, it's not really on my radar. Things shift and we could have had a nuclear war already. I mean, there's a lot of things out there you can follow if you like. But the eclipse is not something that interests me. Other than, you know, it's it's interesting, I suppose. The whole cosmos, you know, can tell us things from the sky. But beyond the cosmos is what I'm most interested in. And the part of the cosmos that the people can't see, that's what I'm interested in. Um, I don't need to be shown billboards from space. I already know it's a dire situation. I already know that people are perishing. I already know what Jesus said. My people perish due to ignorance, he said. They don't understand what they do. Yeah, and so I can't get really mad at them. I'm not mad at you. I don't like the fact they burnt down Maui and put all those people in work camps and stole from the people and then act like they're the they're the big non-racists. They love the Hawaiians. And I feel sorry for the, you know, I actually think that Hawaii, you know, just in my basic knowledge, which I don't know that much about geopolitics and like somebody that's an expert, but I do know that it would make sense to me to give, to have Maui be for, you know, Hawaiians. Although it's a big melting pot, too, so I, you know, I, I feel bad that they got their land stolen. I feel bad that the public officials and people that are Hawaiians that work for the government aided and abetted the uh, military industrial complex and torching Lahaina. They, they have a plan. Lahaina is the jewel. So that's going to be the jewel of the New World Order. Believe it or not, that's their, that's their jewel. That's their crown. So by Joe, they're not going to let the Hawaiians have it. Jordan Bezos has to move in there. I'm kind of concerned with stupid rock stars who think they can go party. We've got to get going out. We have an appointment today. Going to see the cardiologist. <laughs> I got a lot wrong with me. Uh, feel very much up to par, but it doesn't matter because, you know, I'm just a living example of what I've been talking about today.
what this show is. They got that stupid voice thing in there. I don't know. But that's the crazy madman. 73. Later. <laughs> 